I don't think they're comparable because your GPA is not directly linked to like your quality of life necessarily. But you still have to earn it the same way you'd have to earn a salary, right? Well, I don't think most rich people in this country necessarily earn it. Much of that money is inherited. Much of that money, you know, is from made from the stock market, which isn't, they're not actually working for that. They're pressing a button behind a computer for that. Mm. I mean... What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back giving to a new video. Today, we're going to check out an amazing video. Student support socialism until it's applied to their GPA. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I would love us to check this video out together. And let's see how it goes. I'm Kevin Phillips with Campus Reform. Today, we're at Florida International University talking to students about their opinions of socialism and if they'd support a socialist GPA policy. Would they be willing to share their high GPA with people that have a low GPA? Because after all, it's all about equality. Which would you rather have in America, socialism or capitalism? I would say socialism. How do you view the word socialism, favorably or unfavorably? I guess I would go with favorably. Like I have family in Europe, they go to college for free. Their healthcare is paid for, they don't have to worry about it at all. I favor that over capitalism. Okay, got it. I also think I favor that, like, socialism over capitalism. Socialism is more geared toward, like, helping the people in your, you know, the governed. I'd rather people have that same opportunity. There's a lot of excess in America. The main idea of socialism being that people at the top are doing their fair share to help people at the bottom, trying to prevent disparity of income and trying to prevent excess, as you called it. So on campus, if there's a, a GPA disparity where there's people at the bottom with a poor GPA, mm -hmm. would you support a policy where people at the top spread the wealth and give that GPA to people at the bottom? Give? Like help them get a better GPA? Yeah. I'm all for helping. I wouldn't give like, oh, let me just give you some of my poor mm. But it's about being fair, right? We got to help people at the bottom? I've lost a lot of sleep, so I don't know if I will be fair. It's hard. If now it's hard. I guess it would be kind of like hypocritical for me to say no. Ah, you know now. That's completely different. How is it different? Because I'm like studying all day for my grade. What do you mean by sharing it? Like literally, like giving them a chunk of my GPA? Yep. yep. Um, dang. I would want to say no straight up. But what's the difference between earning a high GPA and not wanting to give it away, but then earning a lot of money and also not wanting to give that away? Hmm. Well, I feel like the difference is that you, you study for your grades, right? And grades often reflect how much time you spend studying. But you gotta work pretty hard to become a millionaire. Thank you! I mean, I'm not denying that fact either, but for the regular working person, you know, do you think there's a similarity between earning your salary and, and maybe not wanting to give it away to people that aren't working to earn it? And same thing with the GPA where you earn it and you say, well, I don't necessarily want to give it to anyone who might not be working for it. Right. I think it's just that whole sense of people thinking that no one's going to work for it. I mean, I sacrifice a lot to get my GPA. You know, I, I don't um, go out as much as I'd like to, but that's for some, like a greater goal in the future, um, the way I see it. So no, I wouldn't sacrifice my own things like sacrifice my own time to help somebody else who um, didn't want to make those same sacrifices. There's some people who are in the bottom, but they really are working. And there's some yeah. people who are in the bottom and they deserve that yeah. poor GPA. Kind of like people making money with their income? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like some people. <laughs> Let's not throw shade. But isn't like, it about helping the less you're fortunate? You're profiting off of my work for you. So who's really the bad guy here? Um, I don't think that'd be a good idea because then you're taking away from people that earn that grade and what about the ones that aren't really working hard for their grades? Mm -hmm. So they're just gonna get something they don't really deserve. Got it. And do you think it's similar with your salary? Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. No, that's the complete opposite of meritocracy. Okay. Com the complete opposite. That's like awful. <laughs> I don't think they're comparable because your GPA is not directly linked to like your quality of life necessarily. But you still have to earn it the same way you'd have to earn a salary, right? Well, I don't think most rich people in this country necessarily earn it. Much of that money is inherited. Much what? of that money what? What? You know, is from made from the stock market, which isn't, they're not actually working for that. Shit. They're pressing a button behind a computer for that. I mean, well, I mean, then there would be no point to having a GPA because then if everyone has the same, then there's no metric, right? But it's all about fairness, right? <laughs> well, like, is it fair? Like, look at it. I look at it this way, right? Mm -hmm. Is it fair for everyone to have the same outcome or to have the same opportunity, right? For me, having the same opportunity is what is fair, right? Not the same outcome, right? Because if I work harder than you and I get a better result, then it is only fair that I get a better grade or I get a better opportunity than you, right? Okay, 
this generation need they need help like they need help like they are the full definition of college is a scam it's a big scam because if these other generations are in school then we are doomed this is our future leaders we are doomed the full definition of hypocrisy that is what the students are they are all hypocrites I noticed one of them realized like, oh, it also deals with socialism. They are all hypocrites. Like, who gives them that narrative that everyone who is rich got it from family wealth? There are less than 10% who inherit family wealth among the people who are rich in the entire world. They have the narrative that like people were lucky to have money. Like the people were lucky, they were all lucky that they have the money, so they have to share it equally with everyone. Like, how, how do they think like that? Every single statement they were all making was, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. They don't want to give out. When the table was turned around to them, they felt, no, 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 no. I, sh I shouldn't be the one giving to them. They did not work hard for it. That is, that is what I have been saying to people who support socialism every single time. People have worked literally day and night tirelessly. They can't just give you their money or share it equally. It does not work like that. Now it has to do with that GPA that they, they, they the equal. The, that is not equal. For them, it's, not, it's no longer equal. They don't believe in equality anymore because it's against them. They don't believe in equality anymore. No! I can't share my GPA! But you can share people's money. You, you want it to be equal, right? But you can't share your GPA. Hypocrite. So there's a there's a um saying by there's a word by this woman, um Margaret Thatcher. Socialism works until it runs out of other people's money. It's as simple as that. I'll put it right here so you guys will see it. Socialism works until it runs out of people's money. Then it crash. That is why socialism can never. Beats capitalism. It is impossible. Because human beings are selfish in nature. Simple as that. I don't know who raised these kids up, but they need to be... They need to refund back their, their, their tuition fee. Because they're literally learning nothing in a college. They're making it look like college is a scam. Because they're acting dumb. You can't give what you can take. When it comes to yours, you don't want to share it. That's the, that's what I'm saying. You might be, we are selfish in nature. But you believe in socialism, the equal, with people who are rich millionaires, they have to share with the people who are below. But you that have a high GPA, you can't show, share with someone who have a low GPA. You don't want to work, but you want to share people's income. This is This is crazy. It, I, I was really shocked. It's really hilarious. <laughs> I'm really shocked that people think like this. And the funny aspect of it is that they are college students. The leaders of tomorrow, people who, who want to work in high institutions, high, high companies, in firms, in, in hospitals, in different institutions. They're the ones who are thinking like this. This baffles me. That our generations are like this, guys. If you so much believe in socialism, you should go to Cuba or any other place that socialism is working for them. You should go over there. <sighs> Share. Comment down below. Think about this video. Um, subscribe to our channel. So, billionaires that are in the world right now, they feel that like they were lucky to get the money. They didn't work hard for it. That's how the students, that's how they're thinking. People who are in high position, they feel like they were lucky to get there. They did not work hard. They did not have sleepless nights. Imagine someone telling me that I have 200 something thousand subscribers now. That I didn't work hard for it. Nothing just comes like that. Nothing comes easy. You have to put in the hard work. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.